What happened to this world? What happened to my energy? What happened to the pearl cast before swine and enemies? Domestic, life's expected, hectic, neglected is more to bear than anything that I'd ever expected. I'm restless. Calling the time I see in my mind, the image when I'm walking the line, cannons ring out, echoes aloud through the room with a shout. Innocent people, the rubber of Regal's hand covers the soul bleeding lethal. We ain't free when our state of being is in chain. I will be that missing link so the completion of your game will never end. Just like the war on terror, cause it's all pretend. We live in an, an era when it's just for dividends. Dibba dabble in in every type of sin. But it's justified with lies and covered up without lament. My name is Cameron Moberg. I go by Camera One. I live in San Francisco, California. Uh, it's my home, it's where my heart is. I love art. I love working with teens and youth and, and just trying to be a good mentor, a good role model for them. I've been drawing for a pretty long time. I remember being really young in elementary school and just trying to draw different toys I had in my room, whether it be like graphics on my skateboard or model cars. I even remember sitting in front of my great grandma and just trying to draw her and draw every wrinkle and line on her forehead. My brother, Josh, had been drawing graffiti letters and he showed me a graffiti magazine and it was just a whole lot different. The colors were so much more real than anything I'd seen and so much more vibrant. And I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I think I work a lot differently than most people. I really like the freedom to just approach a wall and just start moving. You know, even in, in that movement, it's very soothing to not be so strict in, in focusing on this, but where I could just look at the wall and just start moving my body. I don't do an entire fill-in and then an outline. You know, oftentimes I'll do an outline and start filling in, or I'll fill in some colors, then do an outline, and then fade back in. So it's really like a molding process, and I like to just focus on an area and shape it. Um, almost like working with clay. Anything that I could create that might stir something up inside of somebody is, is a good thing to me. I have this huge wall out on the street for people to view. I don't want people to just walk by it and just have it be another piece of art that's on a wall. I hope that somebody will walk by my mural and it might provoke something in them, you know, in their soul, in their heart, in their mind. It might trigger something inside of them to remember that there's creation beyond what man has created, you know? And there's something bigger than us. I hope that I could do that with every piece of art that I create. A big part of my life is down on 6th Street in San Francisco. They call it the 6th Street Corridor. It's kind of like the entrance to the Tenderloin. You know, the city kind of treats it like a chemical spill, like they feel like they can't get rid of the crime and just the poverty, so they feel that it's best to contain it within a small area. I mean, you got families of six, seven people living in a 10 by 10 room. Right down the street, we have uh, women and young girls who are caught in sex trafficking. You could come around the corner on any given day and see someone with heroin needle hanging out their arm. Or I've had to help people get dressed on the sidewalk in just a crazy night. Um, at 18 years old, I started volunteering and you know working with the youth and teens down here and you know this wasn't anything new in this neighborhood just because of what was going on in my mind and heart like I just felt like God was just speaking to me like I don't want you to leave this neighborhood these kids see this stuff every day and it you know they have people in and out of their lives and I want you to remain and just be something that's somewhat of a foundation for them some of the youth I first work with um, came from some pretty rough situations and to see them come in and do art um, or you know to break dance with them and just to see that smile on their face or even the younger ones uh, just to come in and it's like a load off it's like they come in the doors and they are free and so I've been here ever since and um, I've even moved into the neighborhood and and I love it you know God has done so much through it I think I'm asked the question a lot, you know, where where do you want to go with your art? Or I oftentimes find it hard to answer that question because I'm, I'm doing it right now. This is my dream job to work 
with kids and get to paint murals. It's so rewarding to work down here. It's so rewarding to do art. It's so rewarding to just be an instrument of God and just to be used to just bring hope, you know, into this community.